here we are in um, one of my favourite places. So, are we, have we got any people watching yet? I said I was going to go live at half past seven. Um, I'm not too sure what's gone on with um, the poem, The Right to Hate. Loads of people are saying they can't share it anymore. Loads of people are saying they can't see it anymore. So I've decided, before I can get this problem sorted, uh, that I would come back here to the place where it all began three years ago. Somebody has said to me that I'm doing this because I need to have something in my life. You've got to be joking. I never asked for this to happen, okay? I made this poem three years ago, I wrote it four years ago, and I put it online, and I just left it there. And it's the people, normal people, who've made this go crazy, not me. I haven't pushed it or promoted it or anything. It's you, because you all feel the same way as me, or so many of you do. And so I've come back out to this place, I love this place, they're going to flatten this soon, our old blast furnace. And uh, for me it's a shrine, it's a shrine to working class life, right? This poem goes out to the handful, relatively small number in comparison with 7 billion people in the world, but this goes out to all those globalists in the world, or that small group of globalists in the world, that have divided us and conquered us for so long and who are trying to do so more than ever now. I hope I don't make any mistakes for you, I'll try not, but here's my poem, The Right to Hate. You tell me what I can't say, you censor what I can. You say I'm offensive because I believe my eyes and I say I see a woman, not a man. You call me thick and racist for not wanting to be a part of a rich man's club in Europe or a global new world order with no soul or guts or heart. You throw at me the slave trade. You tell me my four-year-old grandson is to blame. You point your branding, accusing intolerant fingers and tell me to hang my head in shame. I'm free to have opinions as long as they fall in line with yours. I can fly my banners high and proud as long as you support that cause. You have to be right all the time. Yours is the only way. I have to like the things you like, be they black, trans, left or gay. It makes no difference if I tell you I'm not the things for which you accuse. Because once you've made up your closed off minds, I'm always going to lose. I have black friends, so you're still a racist. Homophobic, but I've shared beds with gay men. I'm an anti sea mate. But the Rothschilds is the richest banking family in this world and that's got nothing to do with them being Jewish and everything to do with them being multi-billionaires really do influence the dollar, pound and yen. You sip your Pinot Grigio in trendy bars down in the smoke looking down your noses with loathsome contempt at billions of working class folk. Well I've come here to tell you that you have had your time cos the winds of change are blowing and bells of freedom soon will chime cos my class my fucking class are waking up and stirring and we're going to peacefully attack. We're going to breach those PC walls of segregation that have divided gay, straight, white and black. I've got no malice in my heart. I don't judge people on their sex or creed or race. I don't speak ill of absolute cunts behind the backs, not even the bloke who murdered me dad. I just tell them to the face. So to all you branding progressive liberals who won't allow debate, I hate no man or woman. I just want the right to hate. I want the right to hate like I want the right to love. I want to like and dislike what I want to like and dislike and be able to vocalise it, bruv. I'm not responsible for slavery and I'm not taking any blame because the white privilege built on black slavery you say that I enjoy well. Beyonce, Jay-Z, Oprah Winfrey, Rihanna, Floyd Mayweather, Alicia Keys, Jamie Foxx, Barack Obama, et al, all enjoy the same. Beyonce has spent $87 million on a house just through shaking that ass, while me and our last sit at home lamenting about ways to pay the fucking gas. And I don't see too much white privilege in a system that lets East European refugees or wounded soldiers live in cardboard boxes, 
Why do black lives matter and progressives fail to see? Not all white folks live in stately homes chasing fucking foxes. And I'm not homophobic, transphobic, racist or anything phobic, you see. Because I don't fear sex or race or gender. I just won't bow down to your PC. Don't confuse my use of slang with racism and bigotry. Don't confuse my rejection of your shite with spite. Don't naturally assume I'm thick and racist because I'm northern working class. I'm not. I'm articulate, sharp and bright. And I will not walk a minefield every time I open my mouth to speak. And I will not apologise for things I've glibly said or spoken tongue-in-cheek. So shape up or fuck off for your madness. Because I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to bring working class people, all people together, Muslim, Christian, white and brown. I'm going to bring those globalist walls of Jericho crashing around your brainwashed progressive liberal feet. And I'm going to blow my loving, inclusive, un-PC fanfare. And your communist, fascist, capitalist, socialist, left, right, Catholic, Protestant, Muslim, Christian, black, white, gay, straight... Male, female, leave, remain, Republican, Democrat, afraid of COVID-19, unafraid of COVID-19, North, South, divides, I will defeat. You globalists, you've divided us and conquered us for way too long. You've taken the piss out of us and you've laughed at us and you've shared the benefits at the top. Well, I've come back to this northern working class shrine in my hometown of Redka to tell you now really is the time for your shit to fucking stop peace now I slowed that down because apparently I've got an American audience too and we want it to go over there we want this poem to go all over the world it's not a poem of hate it's a poem of tolerance. It's a poem of people coming together. It's a poem of people loving each other and disregarding the old way, the way that's kept us down and downtrodden for so long. I ask you, share this poem as far as you can. I don't know if Facebook have taken it down or not. I'm going to go up to County Durham now to see this bloke who made the, the, the post, uploaded this thing in the first place three years ago four, two years ago but I'm going to I'm going to go and see him but if, if Facebook have taken it down then let's keep on going let's share it some more let's show them that, they won't be, that, they, that we won't be beaten let's go come together share this post share the life out of this post thanks very much God bless you and bye